hi guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited to film this video for you guys today as you can see by the title i will be talking about my relationship what goes on how i feel about it if you guys had any questions about it um, any advice any tips that i have to give you guys first things first many of you don't know that i am in a long distance relationship what? Um, for many of you that don't know, I do live in Maryland and Cornelius does live in Atlanta. And so, yeah. But of course, I'm going to talk about how that ended up, how this came about. Oh my gosh, you have in a long distance relationship, you have a baby. And trust me, I'm going to get into all of that. So me and Cornelius met on Instagram and it started off you know like probably any other relationship not any other relationship but any other you know fling or internet fling that goes on uh with likes and then comments and honestly we did not end up in each other's dms we never dm'd each other um we just ended up liking each other's pictures you know a couple of three likes here okay now i gotta like three of his okay now he liked two more of mine so now i gotta like two more of his and then that's how it all started and then like comment after comment or whatnot and then i think it led to him i i want to say he left a his phone number under one of my pictures or I think I probably left a phone number under one of his pictures I'm not really sure but we ended up just exchanging numbers and then of course one thing led to another texting each other I think at the time I was in Las Vegas I was living in Las Vegas at the time after seeing after you know FaceTiming each other like he looked the exact same as he did over FaceTime as he does in person so I don't I wasn't really you know expecting much it was kind of like the same thing um but the first time he came to my house and uh, I remember the doorbell ringing and I was still upstairs getting dressed and everything so uh I was wearing like this purple dress and this is the time where like my hair was still long and blonde and your girl was like hidden okay i remember we went to chili's i think we went to the liquor store first but yeah i think the le next day we went like we went downtown to dc not downtown dc we went to dc and we went shopping you know just one thing led to another and it was facetiming each other every day being able to see each other like back then it might have been like maybe once a month in our relationship, we've had some bumpy roads in our relationship. It hasn't been all glitter. It hasn't been all happy smiles. I can definitely say that this is probably one of the easiest relationships that I've been in. I, Me and Cornelius don't really argue about anything. If we do argue, it's really about really, really minor things, really small things taking all my shine he stayed taking my shine having a kid this is what happened guys they take all your shine they don't give you any it's all about them no more gifts no more christmas gifts for you excuse my baby's hair guys like i think it's getting in its curly stage to where it's like sticking up everywhere and like trying to curl a mother um it hasn't been easy to have a child also and be in a relationship at the same time um, but we try to make it easy for each other we try the reason why we've worked for so long and going on two years is because you have to have some type of trust in your relationship if you don't have any trust in your relationship it doesn't ma matter if you're five miles away it doesn't matter if you're thousands of miles away the relationship just won't work and don't put yourself in situations where you know you want to want your partner to be doing the same thing to you if you want to want your partner to do something 
then you shouldn't be doing it. You also have to look at it like that. Um, we've had some some issues with that, but you know, we tried to fix it and also fixing the problem right then and there. That is another huge key. Um, if you continue to just let things pile up on top of each other, they will just end up exploding and things will eventually lead to an end. You can't let things pile, continue to pile up. You have to fix the situation right then and there. If there's a problem, you have to talk about it right then and there. And I know some of you are probably like, so how did you end up with a kid? You guys are in this relationship together. You guys aren't living together. How did you end up with a kid? Honestly, it was not planned. We, we both wanted to have a baby eventually and we both wanted to have kids, of course, and we talked about it. But, you know, we had plans on top before before having a child, you know, of course, getting a house together, of course, you know, moving and, you know, just just all of that and just being where we want to in our life before having a kid. And I'm pretty sure that's how everybody um, plans to have their kids and our plans plans their life before they have kids and um it it i mean it was just something that happened i can't really really say anything else about it it was just something that that ended up happening and you know now we're now we're with the kid so we we definitely don't regret having a child we we are so blessed to have baby Canel. Um, this guy has slowed my life down in so many ways. So we do still plan on, of course, I will be moving down to Atlanta with him just because of his work. Um, I can take my work and my business anywhere that I go. So for him, it'll just be better if I just move down to Atlanta and we get a house together. So that is... And our next plans, um, hopefully soon, it might not be super soon, but hopefully maybe 2019 for relationships, definitely communication is key. You have to, you just have to communicate with each other. If something's wrong, then you, you have to talk about it. And like I said, with the whole piling up thing, you can't just let things continue to pile up and build on um, because in the end they will pile up so much somebody is going to end up exploding and it's it's not going to be it's not going to be pretty me and Cornelius have definitely had some rough patches and communication because most people that know me know that I am very quiet I'm very shy I'm very you know just a to myself person but when I do meet someone and when somebody really knows me they get to know the real me and they get to know that I'm not really quiet um, especially when I'm in a relationship with somebody. When I'm in a relationship with somebody, I give them my all. I give them my crazy side. I give them my silly side. I give them my loud side, my proud side. I, I give them all of that. Or let me say it like this. You have to be consistent. You have to put effort in your relationship and you um, have to make time especially being in a long distance relationship you have to make time for each other and it's going to be hard especially if you're living one person is living in one a whole nother country um because of your time zones but luckily enough you know me and cornelius we have the same time zones so um our time zones aren't really messed up and his work schedule kind of works with my time zone and everything like that and at right now for me being basically a stay-at-home mom, which is a full-time job, um, and then his work schedule, um, he works overnight. Uh, it is hard, but we still try our best to text all the time. He texts me at his job as much as possible as he can. Being in a relationship is a lot. It's a lot. Um, being in a relationship with the child is even more. Another tip would probably be don't give up. Uh, don't give up easily. You might think that there is something else out there. Oh, it's uh, the grass is greener on the other side, but I'm telling you the grass that you are already watering is the best. Okay, just because that um, 
plastic grass over there looks a little bit better does not mean that the grass you are on right now it just needs to be watered it just needs some sunshine it just needs proper care so don't give up too easily in your relationship it will work out don't quit you got this i do have to say that my past relationships have taught me so much i feel like each relationship that you're in it prepares you for your next relationship um it helps you grow for your next relationship and the last relationship that i had it was it it, it taught me so 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 many lessons and being in this relationship i'm honestly being in this relationship it i'm very surprised in myself i have learned so much about myself in my last relationship that it just helped me so much in this relationship it has helped me grow it has helped my communication it has um you know my trust being in a last relationship where we were just under each other and just like this um to going into another relationship where we're thousands of miles apart I think that especially especially me I just like my alone time and I like to be alone and I just like my space um, being in this relationship it just works out for just how I work and for who I am and so and I know that that's not how it's always gonna be of course eventually me and Cornelius will end up getting the house together and we will be living together but you know uh, for the stop so far of you know this two years this is why it's it's worked out this distance has really helped and sometimes that's what you need in a relationship is that you need your distance um because just being on top of each other and just being under each other like you need your you time sometimes you need your you time you need to pamper yourself you need some space for yourself um, you need to process your thoughts together and that's, that's another thing that I like about this relationship we're not on top of each other I get time to myself I get time to think about my decisions I get time to think about you know just just life me and Cornelius were supposed to be doing a YouTube together and I know some of you were thinking because I asked most of you should we should Cornelius and I do a YouTube together and you guys are like yes 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 we would definitely watch that but I realized like you know we could start a YouTube together um, but because we're in a long distance relationship it would just um, it would just be a little bit difficult because I even though I don't really post that much and that often and we could probably still do a YouTube together I just thought you know it'll probably just be better if I just create my own page so maybe down the line we may create our YouTube together so thank you guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below right there just go ahead and click it just go ahead and click it you can't be getting in videos looking like this in public alpha alpha baby jack jack you look like baby Jack Jack. <laughs> it's you want to get in the camera so bad. Really? And if you guys would like to see anything else or have any suggestions that you wouldn't mind me doing, please don't forget to leave a comment below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.